Hello Year 11s, so uh, we are moving on to look at forces and motion now. So we're going to start off with looking at velocity and speed. Um, and you've met these before. Um, we've thought about velocity as being a vector and speed being a scalar. So hopefully you can remember what that means. So let's just go through that very quickly. So velocity just means how fast you're going but in a particular direction. In what? In what direction? Whereas speed just means how fast are you going? So the difference is velocity is a vector because it has magnitude and direction. Whereas speed is a scalar because it only has magnitude. Now, people in everyday language use these interchangeably, but that is just being a bit sloppy. Um, and in fact, I will probably do that during this video, and I probably would do that in lessons, but I shouldn't. I should keep velocities for just talking about speed in a particular direction. Now, this is where it becomes different from what you've met at um, Key Stage 3. We introduce this idea, which is that the definition of velocity is that velocity... is, and there's this statement now, is the rate of change of displacement. So what that means is just that rate of change means how quickly something happens. So how quickly. And to find out how quickly something happens, generally what we do is we say uh, how much of it happens in a particular time. Effectively, we divide by time. So we end up with our speed or velocity equation that you know from key stage three. So I'll write that down. Uh, velocity is going to equal displacement... divided by time. So what we're doing is we're finding out how much you've displaced or how much you've moved in a particular time. Um, and any time you see this divided by time idea, that's a, a rate. So what else can we do with this? So what we can do is we could look at well, what we measured it in, or what units, what am I talking about, sorry, what symbols we use. So displacement, you can use a D, but the convention is that we use a letter S. And time, the convention is that we use the letter T. And velocity, the convention is V. And you won't be asked about speed questions in your exam. Um, but if you were, it would just be speed is distance over time. So speed is the rate of change of distance. Now, if we decide to sort of do this, um, we also need to check what units we use as well as symbols. So the displacement for us will always be in metres. So that means that if a question gives you kilometres you have to change that to metres. Or if it gave you centimetres, you'd have to change it to metres. Now, time, um, that's always in seconds for us. So that means that if someone gives you minutes, you'd have to change the minutes into seconds or hours into seconds. And then the velocity, well, velocity is... 
meters divided by seconds so that gives us the unit meter per second so it's a really simple equation um, so we're going to look at some examples in a minute but I'm just going to tell you something else you need to know for your exam because you are supposed to know a couple of little bits of information so I'm just going to change to another piece of paper bear with me and you're supposed to know some average or typical speeds so I'm going to apologize about my drawings now but here we go here's somebody walking along and you need to think to yourself how fast you're going when you're walking and you need to know in meters per second so you could try this next time you go for a walk and think how many meters did I cover in the last second and everyone will be different but the exam board likes you to know that typically 1.5 meters per second is a sensible value for how fast you walk the other one that they expect you to know, and I don't know how I'm going to draw this. Uh, this is supposed to be someone running. Sorry, that's an awful drawing. And for running, uh, they reckon double that, about three meters per second. And then the final one, and I've no idea how I'm going to draw this one. Let's see how we get on. Uh, is going to be somebody cycling. Okay, I'm quite pleased with how this is going so far. So, here we go. There you go. Someone riding a bike. Double it again. So, times two. Times two. They reckon about six metres per second. And there are a couple of things you should need, uh, you should know. Now, in the next little video, I'm going to give you a couple of examples that I'm going to work through. Thank you. See you in a second.